What is up everybody? So in a video I posted earlier today, I stated that Kathleen Zellner yesterday filed her newest response to the state on behalf of Stephen Avery. Now what was actually filed was not her response, but we do have a copy of it. So we will go over that just to see what it is. Uh, thanks to Mystic Jinx on Twitter for sending me this. I will link their Twitter in the description below. Go give them a follow. They always have great information on the Making a Murderer case, Brendan Dassey and Stephen Avery. Now this states, this is a motion for leave to file Mr. Avery's second amended notice of motion and third motion for post-conviction relief. Please take notice that the petitioner Stephen Avery and his post-conviction attorneys, Kathleen Zellner and Stephen Richards, respectfully moves this court for leave to file the attached second amended motion and exhibits incorporated as Exhibit A and in support thereof states the follows. Easy for me to say. Current counsel has spoken twice with the current Manitowoc clerk of court, April Higgins, about the history of the Avery case filings as at Manitowoc. Ms. Higgins explained that Manitowoc record index is confusing but can be explained by the fact when Manitowoc enacted electronic filing in 2013 and 2014, many of the Avery court filings were scanned, but not in order of the court proceedings. One small example of this confusion is the record index numbering system. Order goes from 819 to 817 to 633 to 394. There are many more examples of this numbering, making it challenging to locate documents. Hmm. Additionally, handwritten document numbers were placed at the bottom of the documents before 2014. Mr. Avery is providing this court with parallel citations to the Manitowoc Record Index, the appellate record, and, and separate appendices to eliminate any possible confusion for this court about Mr. Avery's citations. Therefore, Mr. Avery moves this court for leave to file his second amended motion and exhibit with the correct citations to the Manitowoc record index. And that's what was filed. So Kathleen Zellner still has until tomorrow to file her actual filing with the state. It may already be done. It's just not updated yet. We don't know. But uh, the deadline the judge gave her was tomorrow, so likely sometime today she will file this. And once it does come out, I will definitely bring it to you. Let me know what you think. Leave some comments below. Hope you're having a good day, and I'll see you again soon.